Most folks probably know Jerry Mathers for his iconic role as the titular role of Theodore the Beaver Cleaver on Leave it to Beaver. The Cleaver family, which consisted of June and Ward Cleaver, as well as Beaver's older brother Wally, became synonymous with the idealized image of the American suburban family in the mid-20th century. The show was the creation of co-writers Joe Connolly and Bob Mosher, who modeled the show's characters, conversations, and plot lines after personal experiences from their own childhoods as well as those of their children. It gave audiences an intimate look into middle-class American boyhood, and Jerry Mathers was the perfect casting choice to portray the show's youthful lead. While Leave it to Beaver never delved into serious adult subject matter, Mathers would eventually have to face the realities of adulthood. Join us as we discuss one of the most serious issues that he had to face head-on some 30 years after Leave it to Beaver wrapped up production. The Making of a Child Star Jerry Mathers was born in Sioux City, Iowa in 1948. His father was a high school principal, and he grew up in the San Fernando Valley area of L.A., after his family relocated shortly after he was born. Mathers has three siblings, two brothers, including the Hollywood cinematographer and director of photography Jimmy Mathers, and one sister. Mathers' career began when he was just two and was selected to appear as a child model for an advertisement for a department store. Not long after, he appeared in an ad for Pet Milk alongside vaudeville comic Ed Wynn. In time, he landed early roles in films such as 1954's This Is My Love and Alfred Hitchcock's 1955 black comedy The Trouble with Harry, in which he portrayed the son of Shirley MacLaine, who finds a corpse in the woods. Mathers reportedly landed his career-defining role of the Beaver after telling the show's production team he'd rather be at a Cub Scout meeting than auditioning for the role. The producers found Mathers' innocent honesty to be endearing. Mathers went on to play the Beaver for six years, appearing in every episode of the program. He also made history when he became the first child actor to cut a deal to get a percentage of the show's merchandising revenue. That landmark deal continues to be profitable for him to this day, seeing as how Leave it to Beaver still generates revenue with reruns and memorabilia sales even after all these years. Mathers briefly dabbled in a music career in 1962 when he recorded two songs released on a 45 RPM vinyl record. In high school, he was also in a band called Beaver and the Trappers, but he eventually gave up on his dreams of becoming a musical star. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around for more about Jerry Mather. Jerry Mather's Life After Beaver After Leave it to Beaver wrapped in 1963, Mathers retired from acting to instead focus on his education. He attended Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks, California, before enlisting in the U.S. Air Force Reserve in 1966. While he never saw any action in the military and was stationed in the U.S. throughout his stint in the force, a rumor began to circulate in 1969 that he'd been killed in the Vietnam War. Fortunately, this rumor was completely unfounded, and its origins remain unclear. He later poked fun at this baseless claim in 1980 when he and Tony Dow appeared alongside Bill Murray on Saturday Night Live's Weekend Update segment. After being discharged from the military, Mathers majored in philosophy at the University of California, Berkeley, and graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree. While there, he met his first wife, Diana Platt. The couple married in 1974, but divorced in 81. After earning his degree, Mathers took a job working as a loan officer at a bank before taking his savings from his acting career to kickstart his career in real estate development. In 1978, he decided to take another stab at acting. That year, he and his former Leave it to Beaver co-star Tony Dow starred in a comedy play called Boeing Boeing, which ran for four weeks in Kansas City, Missouri. Mathers and Dow then hit the road together, touring the dinner theater circuit, appearing in a production of a play called So Long Stanley. During that tour, Mathers met his second wife, Rhonda Gehring, and they ended up having three children together, but divorced in 1997. After briefly working as a radio DJ in Anaheim, California, Mathers reprised his role as the Beaver in 1983 for the television reunion movie Still the Beaver, which featured the bulk of the original show's cast. The made-for-TV film was so successful it spawned a sequel series of the same name, which aired on the Disney Channel starting in 1984 before being picked up by TBS and broadcast syndication. After making that jump, it was given a new name, the new Leave it to Beaver. That show wrapped up in 1989 after four seasons. 
In the 90s, Mathers guest starred in shows like Parker Lewis Can't Lose, Diagnosis Murder, and Vengeance Unlimited. In 1998, he portrayed himself in Married with Children. That same year, he published his memoir and Jerry Mathers as The Beaver. In 2007, he made his Broadway debut in the Tony Award-winning musical Hairspray in the production's starring role of Wilbur Turnblad. Since then, he hasn't done much in the line of acting, but in 2018 and 2019, he could be seen promoting classic TV shows, including Leave it to Beaver, on the MeTV network. Mathers married his third wife, Teresa Modnick, in 2011, and they recently celebrated their 10-year anniversary. Jerry Mathers' is Life-Changing Diagnosis In 1996, Mathers was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. In 97, he received some very grim news when he went in for his yearly checkup. The message was clear. If he didn't alter his lifestyle and diet to address his diabetes, he would likely only have three to five years to live. In 2017, Mathers told Fox News he was, quote, living the good life at the time when his doctor informed him. He was operating a side business as a caterer and was providing his services on a ton of motion picture and television sets, feeding 100 to 200 crew members at a time. Because of this line of work, he was naturally surrounded by food all the time. And Mathers loves to cook. Besides acting and working in film production, the culinary arts happen to be one of his biggest passions. Working as a Hollywood caterer involves sitting down and eating meals with production personnel, sometimes up to six times a day. Because of this, he started packing on the pounds and quickly became quite unhealthy. But it didn't seem to matter at the time because he was making a lot of money doing what he loved. And the majority of people he surrounded himself with were also as overweight. So his unhealthy lifestyle had become normalized. But Mathers did the sensible thing and sold his catering business and went on a strict diet. He also started exercising regularly, walking six to eight miles a day. Some 20 years later, when Mathers did that interview with Fox, he proudly shared that he was then only considered to be pre-diabetic and was no longer at risk of imminent death. One of his biggest challenges, he said, was keeping his diet whenever he would go out to eat. He explained that sticking to his guns and not making compromises is a daily struggle. Mathers also made it clear he wasn't cured by any means. The changes he made and the risk factors he had to contend with weren't temporary. He'd have to deal with them for the rest of his life. To keep him on the straight and narrow path, Mathers has since committed himself to educating the public on diabetes. If he can help save the lives of his fans, perhaps he could also save himself. Today, Mathers leads lectures across the nation to warn those willing to hear him out about the dangers of the disease and what they can do to prevent it. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Mathers was once given three to five years to live? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.